I love fluorescents, and I've been using them for years, but I just got the new fluorescent set from Monument Hobbies, and I thought this would be a good chance to show you all how to use fluorescents to enhance your models. But before we get into that, let's talk about fluorescent paint itself, how to use it, and what to expect. My go-to fluorescent paints prior to getting the Monument line are these golden high flow ones besides their blue, which is dull and far from fluorescent. To do a quick comparison, these are the colors you get in the Monument set. Also, if you are a person who likes to hobby on a budget, I broke down the prices in US dollars on the side here. Now I know what you're thinking. There's no blue. Correct. But there's a good reason for that. Fluorescent blue paint is really difficult to make. And if you want to Google the science behind the emission of color wavelengths and fluorescence, go ahead down that rabbit hole. It's really interesting, but I'm not going to pretend like I understand it all and try to explain it to you. Just trust me when I say that fluorescent blue paint is often not worth it. Also, the Monument Sky Blue is already way brighter than any fluorescent blue I own. I put all the paints on my palette here, and the top row is the Golden High Flow, and the bottom are the Monument ones. These paints are so bright, they are actually being washed out by my camera. As you can see, they are all pretty comparable on the palette, the only major difference being the oranges. One is a little more yellow, and the other a little more red. I actually prefer the Monument's reddish orange because you can simply add a little of the yellow to make it the same color. There's no red golden fluorescent, so you can't shift their orange more red by using their set. While the consistency can vary from different brands, fluorescent paint by nature is translucent, which means no matter what brand you get, the coverage isn't going to be that great. But it isn't meant to be. So think of these paints a little bit more like glazes. Keep in mind that they're going to work best over white or brighter colors and be a lot more difficult to build up over black. Every layer added increases the intensity of the color. I find yellow and orange are perfect for things like fire, and the rest of the colors are great for ambient lighting, magic effects, potions, toxic elements, plasma guns, you name it. Fluorescent paints are just amazing for OSL. I have this fun little base here I made a while ago. I airbrushed a little area in the middle of this with white, making a small gradient where I want my OSL to be. I went over top of this area with fluorescent yellow and then a quick shot of fluorescent orange in the center of it with my airbrush. These paints are great in the airbrush for some quick and easy OSL effects. One of my favorite ways to use fluorescence is to enhance the vibrancy of normal paints. Let's make these colors pop more. This is where the glazing nature of these paints really come into play here. You can also flip the order and use the fluorescence as an undertone. Not only will it make your normal paint colors pop, but it does a great job of helping smooth out your transitions. If we do a before and after shot, you can really see how those fluorescents make those colors so much more vibrant. Did you ever have one of those trippy posters in your room as a kid? I used to love those. It's a fun style I've been playing around with with minis. To demonstrate a quick example, I went ahead and plucked out the details on this model in white. Basically, some edge highlighting and texture lines. It's kind of like a reversed comic book style. I find that fluorescents work best when paired with dark shadows, which really help make them pop. I'm applying a thin coat at first, going over the black as well, besides the deepest shadows. Then I went back to build up the colors in full strength over the initial white areas. Afterwards, I cleaned up some of the shadows by adding black over top. I really love encouraging people to play around with color. While some fluorescent paint out there can glow in the dark, not all do. And glow in the dark paint is a whole different beast. 
but what they do react to is UV light. Monument said they did not focus on making these paints UV reactive, so the purple and red aren't as bright in that sense, but the rest of them are actually pretty reactive as you can see. Not that you would ever really be playing games in UV light, but it is kind of fun if you had an entire army like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that I inspired some of you to play around with fluorescence.